Hey YouTube and especially the Ma'ats. My name's Fragments of Memory and I am subscribed to you and I have been watching your videos about sexuality and relationships. <coughs> and this one was interesting only because the sex question is a big deal, especially for us men. Now, I have no I myself am not in a relationship or having sex right now, but I have noticed that there is that pressure for men number one when we're teenagers to have sex then to to be really really good at it and I think hip-hop culture has aided and abetted this mentality as has R&B as has men's fellow peers now I think the gentleman you were talking to maybe the reason he didn't ask his wife is because he might not know how she he may not know how she might react he might be concerned that if I ask her, will she lie to me? Because I think, let's face it, sometimes mates lie to make other mates feel better about themselves when really they may not. And yes, they may be doing the mate a disservice and themselves a disservice, but people do do fib and lie. But I do want to say I did like your video. I'm, I, I really do uh, dig where you all are coming from. I just think that with pop culture, we are told the man is supposed to come in, come in and hit it hard and just bam, that's it, you know. And one thing I also notice is, is that we often we often talk about women being pressured into sex, but men face pressures too in the sexual arena. Number one, to have it. Number two, to be real good at it. And number three, we should conquer as many women as we can. Because if you don't, if you don't, something's wrong with you. So all that I think works against men, and he has to stay erect forever and ever and ever, and he has to keep putting pulsating, pounding pleasure and all of this. And to a certain degree, I think when people talk about sex, I think people exaggerate, and then some just boldface lie, just so they won't look foolish in front of their peers. <coughs> and this seems to be a bad reality, but this is a this is a reality. And another thing, one thing I really thought about is, like myself growing up, a lot of, like I, I really didn't think girls were interested in me, so I didn't even try to approach women in general. So a lot, of, a lot of times people assumed I was gay. I didn't like women. I was scared of women. When in reality, I was just like, yeah, they not really feeling me, and I'm, you know, and you know, this, that, and the other thing. So I really didn't attempt when I was in high school so I could just remember all the pressures of having sex and yeah man you know having sex man you're supposed to be hitting that you're supposed to be doing that on the other side of things I find that men are penalized for having sexual desire if a man likes a woman's body or attractiveness he's told he's wrong for doing it and then if he doesn't he's gay he's he, something's wrong with him. So either way, I feel like men are in the, the, the scenario of you can't win. Just like Michael Jackson's Scarecrow and the Wiz. He sung the song, You Can't Win. And that's somehow I think that's the theme song for a lot of us men when it comes to, to dealing with women, I think. You can't win. You either, if you're, if you're sexual and you like sex and you have a libido, you're wrong. You're, oh, that's all men think about is sex. That's all they want is sex. But if a man doesn't want sex, if he just seems disinterested or detached from getting sex, he's gay or he's something wrong with his equipment or something's wrong with him. Like, we're kind of caught in between that whole thing. So I think that's also another impediment to the whole sex game, I think. Sex is like this loaded game and it's loaded for you to lose. It's like the dice are loaded. The deck is even, even tampered with. So it feels like it's a loaded game, even with the one that you supposedly love, I think. I just think dealing with other individuals is, a, especially those of the, of the female gender, that tends to, I sometimes feel like there is, I think we men walk into a loaded game, a loaded deck. Like the game is already rigged for you to lose. Sometimes it's even like uh, the jigsaw death traps in the movies, in the Saw movies. It's, it sometimes seems that way. But 
I do like what you're putting out and you all are very uplifting and I at least give you props for that just alone and just y'all do come with it real so to speak I guess if we want to do that and you all you all just bring a, a loving vibe to the table um may we may we have may we all have uh relationships and and a good vibe like you two seem to have so that's all I wanted to say was give you shout outs and of course just kind of let some things off my off off of my chest like uh yeah yeah it's cool it's great but mm, sometimes it seems when you deal with people you don't know you know it, anyway I'm I'm about to go ranting again so. Thank you for putting out what you're putting out. So, peace.